Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Janie. Yeah. I like my kisses down low. Make me arch my back. <laughs> Did you hear that song? Who sang that? That's Kelly Rowland. Uh, if I can just get one of these Negroes to just do it one more time. <laughs> just run up in me one more time. You should join a dating site, Miss uh, Miss Jenkins. I didn't try ChristianMingles.com. Too many sisters on it. You want to do what, Miss Jenkins? <laughs> run up in me one more time. Miss Jenkins! Hey! Did you take your medicine no this hum. morning? I don't mean no harm. Just one more time. Kiss me down. Arch my back. You should try back page. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Just one more time, one more time, Janie. One more time. What you want to happen one more time? Yeah, run up in me. <laughs> make me climb the walls, make me walk straight. Make me put this walker down. Miss Janie, <laughs> tell I'm us stop. I'm make one of my shoes come off. <laughs> Spit the one and one we got on about nine or ten t-shirts. Uh, oh yeah, come on with it, honey. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'm sorry. Here's our church now. It's running. I don't know if you can. Come I mean, <laughs> yourself. Accordingly. Yeah, baby. Cut the feet out of all my pantyhose. <laughs> Song got me hot. Oh, I lied. Can't listen to that song. That song got me hot in here. Lord, I need a Martin Luther King fan. That song kisses down low. Arch my back. Yeah, make me scream. Cause you know, Janet, you know, Harry's been dead over 30 years. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Yes, oh, my. That song made oh. them hot flashes hit me. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Are you gonna are you gonna do it? Congratulations to Fred and Maybelline Hanks who just uh, who just celebrated their one year anniversary last week. You know, he's eighty three and she's seventy nine. And they expecting their first child together. I don't know how he got that to work, but Fred has already had two children from his ex, from his first wife's 62-year-old twins, Bobby and Robbie, and they are really excited about having a little brother or sister. <laughs> they twins? Yeah, Bobby and Robbie. Y'all and Robbie twins. One of them go to First Baptist, but the other one go to church with his wife. <laughs> All parents interested in getting your child in the Easter play need to see Mother Hazel Middlebrooks after service. They are in need of one really overweight child to play the boulder that gets rolled back so Jesus can, come, so Jesus can rise from the grave. So if you got a little son that's overweight and we want him to play a boulder that they roll back where Jesus can get out the grave. B C. Mother Hazel Middlebrooks. <laughs> we are so sad to announce the passing of 87-year-old Deacon Jesse Hicks. Deacon Jesse Hicks, he had been fighting off pneumonia, swollen eyelash hairs. Eyelash hairs don't swell. Scarlet fever, <laughs> hypertension, <laughs> and razor bumps. But Jane, had, none of that didn't kill him. He died when his granddaughter Keisha made him a grilled cheese sandwich and put too many slices of cheese on it, and he tried to chew it, and his dentures came loose and he choked to death. Make sure you got your pin number ready for the next Ricky Smiley ATM contest. Text ATM, ATM. to the number 80185. No debit card necessary. The Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Brought to you by WeFixMoney.com. Ricky Smiley Morning Show, 12 minutes before the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, can you please welcome Miss Bernice Jenkins in his ass? Yeah. 
Got closer walk with me. Closer walk with me. Just a closer walk with me. Dead, sweet Jesus. If you please, just a closer walk with me. Just a closer walk with me. Tell everybody about his goodness. Just a closer walk with me. Just a closer walk with me. Let it be. Let it be. Yes, yes, Janet, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing good this morning. Why y'all let Juices fall over in the deep pool? She sure did, Janet. She was walking, uh, she was trying to get some meat out of there. It must not have been too much down in there. <laughs> it's like the Hunger Games. <laughs> Well, how to fall off in there? That it wasn't much in there, Janie. She gonna put on a snowsuit next time. And it says she walked on some, walked on, she stacked up some popsicles and walked out of there. Somebody said that she can use it as a panic room if she remember to unfreeze it, unplug it, unplug it. They said she would have fell in that deep freezer that it got her mixed up with two of them turkeys and. They'd have thawed out a turkey and had a funeral and buried the turkey instead and left her in the deep freeze. <laughs> they said, why she got to land in the castle with her legs gap wide open like that far? Why the legs up like that far? <laughs> <laughs> Juicy! <laughs> they said, Lord Jesus, they done opened up the castle and that lays a carnish hen. <laughs> Church announcement this morning. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Congratulations to Sister Clarice Huff, who's been having a hard time since both of her baby daddies got locked up for shooting each other. <laughs> She's been blessed with a new Section A apartment, and because her twins have asthma, they gave her an extra $250 on her EBT card. <laughs> There will be a meeting at 1.30 downstairs for all men who ain't gay. Okay, you can't There will be a meeting at 1.30 downstairs for all men who ain't gay. That's a lot of pressure. But if you only like women who act like men who look like women. Okay, did you get that? There will be a 1.30 meeting downstairs for all men who ain't gay, but... But you, but you only like women who act like men, but who, but who look like women. Oh, God. You got to read it three, four times before you catch on to it. <laughs> it's at 1.30. For all the men that ain't gay. But if you only like women who act like men, but who look like women. We got it. Okay. We got it. Just making sure y'all yes, write that down. Yes, ma'am. We got because it. Because last time they got confused and you had a lot of women that came down there who look like men who ain't gay. Anyway, the fume for the senior choir who died at rehearsal last week would be on Saturday. Which one? Who died? All of them. Oh, my gosh. The families are asking to uh, are asking the families are asked to bring the black and red choir robe they wore for pastor's anniversary, <laughs> and they're just gonna set them up all in the choir stand, and you get to go around as if you're tithing to view all the bodies, all twelve of them up there. And they're not gonna have a casket, and then they're gonna tote them out and put them all in the church. <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna put them all in the church van and ride them out. <laughs> To the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna the pick them up and take them on out to the minister's church, man. <laughs> they gonna ride them out to the cemetery and put the radio on the gospel channel. <laughs> it's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Yeah, man, praise the Lord. <laughs>
Ricky Smiley Morning Show, 10 minutes before the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Miss Bernice Jenkins is in the building. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ain't nobody doing it like Jesus. Ain't nobody do me like the Lord. Ain't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. Oh, pick me up. Turn me around, place my feet on, sol on solid ground. Pick me up, turn me around. He's my friend. Pick me up, took me to Walmart. Pick me up, took me to Walmart. Pick me up. Took me to Walmart, he's my friend. Hey, man, hey, man. Janie, get Manny. Yes, he did. Didn't he pick you up and take you to Walmart? Yes, he did. God is my co-pilot. Sometime I just praise him in the car and close my eyes and wake up, I'm in my parking space at Walmart. <laughs> The Lord drove me in. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> mm, he's my friend. Yes, he did. Yeah. Please pray hard for Donnell and, and Shanita and Youngblood. They need help. Because Donnell got laid off for working at Chick-fil-A. And Shanita had to... Uh, too many vitamins when she was pregnant, and now they got a three-month-old baby, a uh, uh, baby who have a baby-sized body with the grown people-sized <laughs> feet. He wears size men's 11 shoes, and they are having a hard time keeping them looking stylish. All the other babies got on white hard bottoms, and this baby got on gaiters. <laughs> The <laughs> baby got on an Oshkosh outfit and some gators. <laughs> I said, damn! Look at his feet. You know what they call babies with big feet? What? The clowns. <laughs> Please donate an extra ten or twenty dollars in the special offering to help Pastor raise money to get his son Willie Jr. out of jail. He got locked up yesterday at Home Depot. <laughs> Depot, Miss Jenkins. Uh huh. He had been drinking liquor and smoking crack rocks, and thought he was in the bathroom and sat down on one of the display toilets and did the number two right there in home in home deep but I said ain't no water in there it ain't no water in there but he he laid one in there yes he did put a candy bar in there. that that was not a candy bar <laughs> I don't know what that was that was a <laughs> Zagnut bar python <laughs> Or the snake had got it. Oh. A rat snake. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> a cobra. A cobra because it stood up. <laughs> you ever had one stood up? Total oh, Baby, let me tell you. Please. Yeah, I call him the Lightness Monster. <laughs> Any minute, I got one more. <laughs> yeah, you did one when they stand up out the wall. Anyway. <laughs> on, the, on the second shot. On the second shot in this. <laughs> we need to pray for the following folks. 
98-year-old Harold Arrington, who got bad spider veins and acid reflux. 87-year-old Mother Beulah Hanson, who got infected bunions, forehead cancer, and real dry skin. And 85-year-old Deacon Charles Carter, who had been battling with pneumonia, bird flu, hypertension, but we just got word that he died, but not from none of that, Janie. What did he die with? Got shot by a police officer doing a drug raid. <laughs> Ricky Smiley, morning show. Miss Bernice Jenkins has arrived. Did you watch the Super Bowl, Miss Jenkins? Yes, I watched it. It was it was fantastic. <laughs> Love the Super Bowl. I don't know what they uh, why they run around there and lay on top of each other in a pile. Them, them sissies. No, they are tackling each other. That's the way they do the game. Well, you know somebody getting feeling on somebody up on all of them got. <laughs> now you tell me you want to say the choir director, uh, sissies, but but you won't say it. they run around here with tight pants on. <laughs> And then, and then, Janie, and then, Janie, they slapping each other's on the butt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what they doing that for? That's, that's how they say and, good job. And, and then, and then they running through each other, and then they laying on a pile. And, and they lay on the pile to the point where some the referees have to come and pull them apart. Because they don't want to get up. Then, yeah, they, they laying down there. And then they chasing a the ball. And the ball, every time the ball roll, they all pile up on the ball. All of them sissies. All of them sissies. And then they run and they throw the ball and they run chasing a ball. Anybody that chase a ball, they all sissies. What about the punters and the kickers? They kick the ball. They sissies. They, I ain't never seen they, they kick the ball. And when they over there on the sideline warming up, they pointing their toes. And then they kicking high to the ceiling. Don't nobody do that. I said they voguing over there. Uh-huh. All of them, sis. <laughs> and then, and then, then, and then, 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 Janie, Janie, Janie. Then the one that been, then, then he been over. Look at this, 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 Janie, 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 then he been over. And he... Hi, he, 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 he send the ball through his leg and he grab the ball and then get the other man the ball and he run and then some more sissies. They come and tackle him and pile up on top of him. When he been over with the ball, what the and, other and, and, and then And then when he been over with the ball, then one of them run over there to, from the side the way he had and then he change his mind and he go back. That's called motion. That way the call is called why going in motion. Uh-huh, but I thought that he ran over there to get behind the man with the ball because the one that bent over fought it and he smelt it and so he went back over there <laughs> to the slot formation. <laughs> What kind of ball is that? Then they're going to call it the Super Bowl. Oh, <laughs> it's a damn shame. <laughs> and the church need to protest it. Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Uh, 11 minutes before the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Bernice Jenkins is back in the building. He lives. He lives. He lives in me today. He walks with me and talks with me along the barrel way. He needs, he needs salvation to implore. You ask me how I know he lived. He lives in me today. Happy belated Easter. How was everybody Easter? Right. Good, 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 good. Good, yeah. Did, did you go to sunrise service? Yes, I did. Yes, we had good service over there at Faith Walkers. Damn. And them children put on a good, beautiful, beautiful uh, 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 dedication to the Lord. Oh, that was good. And the whole service is dedicated to the Lord. That's good. Everything that went on yesterday was dedicated to the Lord. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. That's what it's about. As long as everything on Sunday is dedicated to the Lord. Oh, yes, he is. Because he is good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. The wheelchair ramp to the choir stand is still being fixed right now. So we appreciate all the choir members in wheelchairs who park in front of the do this in remembrance of me table. And sang from there during Resurrection Day services. <laughs> and I'm glad that they fixed it because the ramp was a little too steep in stopping because everybody don't have electric wheelchairs. No. Some of them tried to roll up to that choir stand and couldn't hold it and got turned around <laughs> and went into a, a, a spin back down. And it ended up being a wheelchair piled up. Right there by the exit door, a lot of wheelchairs were turned over. <laughs> because only the one, only the members with Medicaid and Medicare got electronic wheelchairs in them bathtubs that you can... Janie, you seen the new bathtub that you can walk in? Yeah! You can walk in there and close the door and they got bu- they blow bubbles and everything. Dude! Yeah! Bad. Yeah, I'm get got to see about trying to get one. Oh, they say you can get that through Medicaid and Medicare. Do you have one? No, nah, I got the kind that you fall in. <laughs> <laughs> I got the kind just like everybody else, the one that we fall in. <laughs> but I need them them white people got them new bathtub where you that, uh, got a car door on and you open it all the way down. Oh, they got nice stuff for white people. Black folk ain't think. I seen the I seen the commercial. <laughs> the church security won't let everybody know that Sister Helena Boswell's son Bruce was found early this morning after being missing since yesterday morning when the Easter egg hunt started. And you know he's 15, and you know he's slow. And he was looking for eggs and then walked all the way across town. And the police found him sleep on some white in some white family's basement. And I don't know how he wandered all the way across town looking for Easter eggs. <laughs> Good to have Bruce back. That's the one that sits up there in church with his mother that rocks back and forth nonstop. And he rocks harder when the choir sings. <laughs> And we're going to pray for the family of Brother Cleon Davis Sr., who passed away on Good Friday. He's gone, Lord Jesus! He was only 98 years old, and he survived the Korean War, Vietnam War, two alligator attacks in New Orleans. He had the shingles, back pimples, swine flu, Bleeding gums and infective skin on both elbows and swollen eardrums. But what killed him was when he was trying to eat an Almond Joy candy bar and didn't have his teeth in. And he sucked all the chocolate off one of them big nuts. And it slipped down his throat by mistake and he choked to death. Show. Ricky Smiley Morning Show, 11 minutes before the top of the hour. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, can you welcome Miss Bernice Jenkins back to the yeah. show? Hey, good morning, Janie. Yeah. Did you see the image of Warren? Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord, I'm telling you the truth. Oh, I that can... Ricky was sharp. I'm yeah. telling you. They say that suit was made out of hearse curtains. What? I'm telling you the truth. They weren't ready. They weren't ready for him. I said I tried my best to get in. They went. I couldn't find the ticket booth. I guess they weren't selling tickets to it. Shut up. I done rode the bus all the way out there. Rode the bus? Uh huh. I don't fly. I don't fly. Uh uh-uh, uh. Uh uh. I don't fly. Uh uh-uh, uh. I'm going to fly one time. Oh, and that's when I get ready to go to the upper room. <laughs> that's the only time I'm going to go above the clouds, baby. I don't play. 
End up down them that plane and, and can on. I flew one time and white folks on there just kept walking back and forth, back and forth. I said, sit down. <laughs> Lord Jesus, they're going to tip it over. <laughs> Lord, how much is Jesus? Yeah, but I came on back, Janie. Uh-huh. Now, here's our church announcement this man and govern yourself. Accordingly. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Accordingly. On the sick and shut in list, we got Sister Renee Taylor, who was rushed to the emergency room last night. You know Renee Taylor. Yay. That's had it, Taylor's baby. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh, her hair is not long at all. <laughs> And she was trying to pull it back in a ponytail. <laughs> and she had pulled so hard, she had split both of her eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> and had to get 36 stitches. <laughs> I was wondering how she got her hair in a ponytail like that. I don't know what kind of rubber band that was be holding that ponytail. That little bit of hat. She must use a rubber band that come off a batch of collard greens. <laughs> That's wrong. Uh, rubber band that come off the newspaper. <laughs> but yeah, they split them eyebrows. That skin toe from her forehead all the way down her nose. Oh, Lord, that must But she was determined to get that thing in a ponytail. Mm, I said, mm, mm, mm. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Congratulations to one of our favorite members and church treasurer, Ricky Smiley. Oh. Oh, appreciate it, Miss Bernice. <laughs> he had it. <laughs> he had it good on the NAACP Image Awards Saturday night. Maybe he was dressed nice. But he got in trouble for selling them open casket sharp DVDs <laughs> out of his backpack in the lobby. And then he had too much wine at the after party and tried to tongue kiss Tamala Man <laughs> and got into a slap boxing match with Reverend Al Sharpton. <laughs> Just too much going on. <laughs> you know, Miss Jenkins, I don't remember none of that. <laughs> what you mean you don't remember? You, I told you, you can't drink. Don't drink nothing. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Who they said it? You tried to tongue kiss? Damn it, a man. <laughs> the gospel. And they say Mr. Brown whooped his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he met the Brown. He met the Brown. <laughs> now, Jane, I, I know you're a prayer warrior. I know you're a prayer warrior. <laughs> And all the prayer warriors are being called for the Henderson family. <laughs> and the motherboard has lost another member, Mother Violet Pearl Henderson. Lord Jesus! <laughs> God! Lord Jesus! Lord, it took Mother Violet Pearl Henderson. Lord Jesus, what is going to do? Lord, she was sent to the upper room on the <laughs> She was 94 years old, and she'd been suffering from shoulder blade cramps, a stretched appendix, dry liver syndrome, kidney dandruff, a deep collarbone rash, and Lyme disease. But she was doing fine with all that. What killed her was she was driving over the choir rehearsal and pulled up to the light and seen the Hallelujah Tax Service Dancing Devil. You ever seen the Hallelujah Tax Service Dancing Devil on the street corner? <laughs> and thought it was the real Satan. And fell out dead right there at the light. <laughs> Lord Jesus, it's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Ladies and gentlemen, Please clap your hands for Miss Bernice Jenkins in his ass. Yeah! Oh, fellowship, what a joy divine thing on the everlasting arm. What a blessedness, what a peace of mind thing on the
Amen. Thank everybody that joined in to leaning on the everlasting arm. You was leaning. I was leaning. Leaning back far back as Dr. Davidson. <laughs> Jane and I went to Mount Olive. Went to Mount Olive in Fort Lauderdale on Sunday. I went to the seven and the nine. Sat next to Miss Wiggs. She in charge of the Usher board. Had an awesome time. Dr. Marcus Davison is the pastor. <laughs> the ushers is asked to please, please be careful whenever white folks come, into, come to visit. Because uh, the white fella last Sunday came in acting like he wanted to join the church when he was working for the repo company. As soon as he signed up to get baptized, he went outside and snatched Deacon Grissom's F-150 up on the front <laughs> bed. <laughs> and took off. So when white folks come to the church, just make sure you watch them. Because they could be from the repo company. <laughs> the first time that Deacon Grissom rode home in the church van in 42 years. <laughs> Congratulations, congratulations to Mother Fisher's daughter, Tamika. We've been praying that she would stop working at the strip club. <laughs> well, God know when you need a blessing. And now Tamika is four months pregnant by an NBA player who is married. And he ain't leaving his wife, but he's going to pay Tamika good money to be quiet. So now she can stop stripping and her mommy is moving out of the project into a nice three-bedroom house. God is good and always on time. Pray hard, pray hard, pray hard. Please pick up a funeral program for Deacon Charles Patterson. You know Deacon Charles Patterson died, Lord Jesus, I didn't know it. was 98 years old and passed on Thursday. He had been battling pneumonia, high blood pressure, stomach clots, Lyme disease, lemon disease, rickets, sleep apnea, eardrum cramps, Knuckle hurting. <laughs> He's, that ain't what killed him. You know, his mind was bad, and over the weekend, he got a hold to his grandbaby motorcycle and rode it to the four dollar car wash and got beat to death by them, by them spinning brushes. <laughs> <laughs> them, them spinning brushes beat the hell out of him, Janie. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Eight minutes before the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, she just walked in the building once again. Miss Bernice Jenkins. I'm going now. Wait a minute. I'm going now. <laughs> and you're not around. Oh. My whole world's upside down. Oh, oh no. Oh, you got a king chicken wrap. Oh, 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 Shaka Khan, them rack and them rack, Shaka Khan. Them leggings all the way to do Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. Oh my God. It's pretty though, Janie, but you just have to make the regular hair blend in with the wig. It's peeking out from up under. 
Let somebody land up under the porch. Would you go on and do your announcements, please? Let ah, the dog be up under the porch. <laughs> That's what that looked like. <laughs> Where she putting that thing on the day for? You should have planted it together. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm going to get you, Miss Janey. Here's our church announcement, dear man, and govern yourself. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Please pray hard, pray hard, pray hard for 81 year old mother Martha Fenton. You know Martha, Martha Fenton. She is recovering from a bad hip replacement surgery. <laughs> And the doctors made a mistake and put the left hip on <laughs> on the right side. And now all she do is walk around in circles. <laughs> she can't, she got to go get a hip alignment. <laughs> <laughs> all members who had their arms amputated from gout, yeah. uh -oh. please donate any long sleeve dress shirt that you cannot wear anymore. <laughs> to the man's missionary board. So if you don't have arms and you got long sleeve shirts, instead of folding them up and pinning them up, donate them because it's other church members that really, really, really need them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're blessed to be a blessing. <laughs> the transportation committee wants all members to know that we need to raise $268, Janie. For what? To get new tires for the church van for senior citizens. <laughs> it caught two flats last week and 87-year-old Mother Braxton had to get up under there and change it. <laughs> and she tore up her black stockings and throwed her back out. <laughs> <laughs> and I did not know that she could change a flat. And whatever, and Mother's breakfast is the oldest boy dog in the United States. She had on black stockings? She had on black stockings and some white Reeboks. <laughs> but everybody knew Mother Braxton was a boy dog. <laughs> everybody knew she been living with a woman for years. She ain't never been like they didn't know, like they didn't see her mustache when she come up there. Everybody in the church, everybody in the whole community. No, the brother back to the boy dog. And I know mom was being the boy dog because she'll fix the car, she'll fix the transmission, she'll paint your house. Everybody all over the world know that mother back to the boy dog because she ride a motorcycle. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Ten minutes before the top of the hour. Wearing her green dress made of seaweed, Miss Bernie's Jenkins in his house. That's right. How aquatic. That's right. It made out of seaweed, baby. Mixed with a little bit of spinach. Get that seaweed and let it dry up and so it is good material. <laughs> Look like reefer. Look just like reefer. She does. Good morning, Janie. Good morning. We're marching over to Zion. If a beautiful Zion. We're marching over to Zion. Beautiful city of God. Love that song. Amen. Yeah. All right, here's our church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Accordingly. The courtesy guild will be giving refunds. The what? The courtesy guild. <laughs> They're just nice people. They're going to be giving refunds to anybody who bought tickets for the Jubilee Series concert. Uh, Deacon Ernest Ruffin was in charge of the booking the talent and y'all know his mind and went bad because he's 91 he, he's gonna be 91 on his birthday and he, he done booked uh james cleveland <laughs> luther vandross rick james Wait and tina minute. marie <laughs> he also was trying to get don cornelius to host it but nobody called him back <laughs> and so now we're sitting up there with an empty concert nobody showed up the folks showed up, but nobody was backstage. And I went back there and said, mm, Ain't these folk dead? <laughs> Ain't Luther Vandross dead? Right. Ain't James Cleveland dead? <laughs> Ain't Rick James and Tim Marie dead? <laughs> well, where'd he book them for? 
so we are going bad, so we got to refund these uh, tickets. <laughs> and went right down. How many tickets y'all sell? Oh, boy, we sold plenty of them. <laughs> plenty of them. All the old folks who mine bad went. But everybody who knew they were dead, they didn't come. And they tried to tell the folks who mine was bad. But they didn't believe it till they got there and said he's dead and all of them sitting out there crying. <laughs> so the pastor had to come out and read some scriptures that um let not your heart be troubled. <laughs> Passage the scripture to make them feel about it, but it put them all back on the van and took them home. <laughs> Short one player after last week's game when 97 year old brother Herman Benson got his two front teeth knocked out trying to slide into second base. <laughs> and I didn't know he still had his permanent teeth. It's fortunate. Phew. Then knocked him out. Now he got to get a posse. <laughs> oh boy. Deacon Larry Tucker is asking for all of our prayers for his recovery, Janie. You know Deacon Larry Tucker. He is in the hospital with second degree burns on his face and uh, in head after an accident on last Thursday. And he was trying to change the oil on his truck but didn't jack it up high enough. <laughs> Just squeezed up under there and got his face stuck up under the muffler while it was still hot. <laughs> the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You know I what, y'all? <laughs> Man, I can't put my phone down because y'all killing me this morning. <laughs> Boy, somebody that posted a picture of Shanae as Brandy. <laughs> yeah, I want to be down biopic coming this fall in Lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I can't pray. Man, I swear, all these bitches coming in on Twitter and Facebook, man. Oh, my God. Then they got Young Thug. Oh, okay, in right. a skirt. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Well, it's 29 minutes after Woo. the top of the hour, and uh, look who just walked in the building. Y'all give it up for Miss Bernice Chinky. Yay! Long ago down on my knees, long ago I said I did all. And the old account was settled long ago. Hallelujah. And the record lives today for he washed my sins away and the old account was set on long ago (laughs) have you been delivered Please pray hard, pray hard for Mother Grissom. You you know Gloria Grissom. Yay. Yeah, she's in jail this morning with a thousand dollar bond. And she got mad last night watching the Aaliyah movie because didn't nobody look like the people they were supposed to be. And she pulled out her pistol and shot at the TV, and three bullets went through the TV and through the wall and shot her neighbor in the leg, and she's been charged with aggravated assault. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Brother Cleon Bates. You know Cleon Bates, don't you, Jay? Cleon Bates, rep, brother Cleon Bates. He finally got his high school diploma last week. And you know he was 68 years old and been in high school since 1967. 
and I had been having trouble passing the math and science. <laughs> but but had did well playing cornerback and linebacker for the varsity football team. <laughs> Remember, I remember when he was trying to read a Bible verse in church and he kept got to a word and said, Tell he. Tell he. I said, D. D. Congratulations to the senior choir for raising $335 at their, at their car wash on this past Saturday. And we need prayer for the pastor's aunt, Mrs. Jessie Willingham, who is still in the hospital after she threw her back out trying to shine some rims and put silicone on tires. So she threw her back out getting out too low. So she's in the hospital locked up, but they raised $335. The senior citizens choir uh, for the topless car wash, and we are so proud that people, <laughs> when they use the topless, they use their breasts when the cars come through. They, they, they put wax on their breasts. So when the cars come, I can't do this. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Four minutes after the top of the hour, Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Guess who just walked up in the building? Miss Bernice Jenkins. Praise yeah. him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Jesus, blessed Savior, he's worthy to be. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. And he said, steadfast, unmovable, for oh, my soul has been anchored in the Lord. Happy New Year, Janie. That was a remix between my soul that's been anchored and praise him. <laughs> you don't want to have enough time to sing an A and a B selection. You take A and B and mix them up together, and then that's what you get. <laughs> Good morning, Janie. Good morning. You missed that service the other day. They had to put chairs outside. Pastor Kevin Bryant preached like a dog. <laughs> It was good yesterday. I it was just damn packed in there. Yes, it was. And I didn't want to have to stand up. Mm, mm, mm. I would have got you a seat because I was ushering. Oh, you were? Ah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> now, the church is looking for a new treasurer for the new year. Sister Fanny <laughs> Dawson had to quit after she lost four of her fingers. <laughs> Trying to light firecrackers with her grandchildren on New Year's Eve. <laughs> and it's, ta- <laughs> it's taking a little too long to count the money. You know, them, them ones be balled up anyway. I sat out there and she lighting them firecrackers and lost four of them. She must have had them cherry bombs. What kind of, or, or them Roman candles, ain't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> In, in the, in, in, what do you call them? In black cats. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she had. We want to thank Associate Pastor Grover Hodges. Grover Hodges, who filled in for the senior pastor for the watch night program on New Year's Eve. Mm-hmm. The pastor's wife says she had made some fresh mustard greens, <laughs> some cabbage, pig feet, Chitlins, hog malls. Last night, she made all that last night and Pastor ate too much and came down with the Tyler Perry stomach virus. Because <laughs> every 10 minutes, he was getting up out of the bed to go and meet the Browns. <laughs> <laughs> took the Browns to the Super Bowl. Yes, yes he did. Jada, 
Special prayers goes out to Sister Eunice Miller. You know Sister Eunice Miller? Yeah. And pray for her and her family who lost their great-grandmother on Christmas Eve, Mother Clara Miller. <laughs> she was 106 years old, the oldest member of the church, and she was actually in great health. She got called home to glory when she had went to Super Target <laughs> to pick up some sweaters. <laughs> she went to Super Target to pick up some sweaters for her husband Alfred and got stuck and got stuck trying to walk up the down escalator and fell out dead after 45 minutes. <laughs> You know when the escalator going down and she didn't have her glasses on, she was going up and she got tired. <laughs> she was just going and wasn't going nowhere and fell dead and ended up at the bottom anyway. <laughs> God bless you, Jane. I'll call you. Ricky Smiley Morning Show, nine minutes before the top of the hour. Miss Bernice Jenkins is here. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Jesus, keep <laughs> me near the cross. There's a precious fountain. Free to all the in heaven is morning. <laughs> and yes, I thank you, Evan, for uh, helping me out on that one. Uh -oh. <laughs> like Everybody else your... said that. I took it, but they, they, they just didn't know the way. I feel like I'm in Sunday school, though. Your blood pressure medicine. <laughs> I didn't like take it this morning, so I slurred when I was taking it. Oh, okay. Now, this, now, the church needs to raise... <laughs> the church needs to raise $550 by Friday. For what? So we can get the pastor's mother out of jail <laughs> by Mother's Day. <laughs> she got arrested on Friday after she accidentally shot her nephew Leon in the behind <laughs> when she was trying to use her pistol to kill a Burma bee. <laughs> That had got in the house because he had left the screen door open. To kill a what? A Burma bee. <laughs> you know, I'm scared of them black and yellow Burma bees. They don't sting you, but they just scary. They fly so slow. I'm not, for some reason, I ain't scared of wasps, but them Burma bees, them big black ones. And she tried to shoot him. <laughs> Mother's Day dinner will be held on Sunday at 2 p.m. And all young mothers who got your kids living with their grandmama come eat. And they can come eat, but you have to go to the back of the line with the fathers. <laughs> you gotta do what now? The Mother's Day dinner will be held on Sunday at 2 p.m. And all young mothers who got your kids living with their grandmama can come and eat, but they have to go to the back of the line with the men. 
Ain't that something? <laughs> condolences, condolences, condolences to three members of the Midget Choir. Okay, now. Who passed on last Thursday when they got locked up in the church van by mistake. Because they was up under the seat shooting dice. <laughs> they passed? All, all of them. The funeral will be held on Wednesday. And all three caskets will be set up on the Do This in Remembrance of Me table. <laughs> Somebody that can't see that good don't think it's communion. <laughs> all three of them. Ain't that sad, Lord Jesus? Take all three of them, Lord Jesus! It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. And there is Mrs. Bernice Jenkins in the hisses. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's spring. Janice. Janice. Anna. Miss Janie? Miss Janie? Yes. Good morning. Y'all. Hold on a second. I, uh -huh. <laughs> I think Miss Janie need to click off. Miss Janie, can you hear Miss Bernie's? I can't hear. I can't hear. I can hear you. Oh, you can't. Oh, well, that means you yes, can't. I can. You just answer that. I ain't talking to I you. I can hear you now. <laughs> I can hear you now. Uh -huh. Hello. Are you? Hey! Hey! I was just wondering, you got to click over. You got to, <laughs> got to pay all your phone bill, Janie. She made a partial payment. A partial payment, they give you partial service. You can hear them, but they can't hear you. <laughs> That's the phone company you get over the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our church name this man and govern yourself. Of course. Govern yourself. Accordingly. You know Mother Beulah Allen. Yeah. Uh, would like to thank everybody who raised money for them to buy her son Jerome a decent suit to be buried in last week. Miss <laughs> Janie. She was she laughing. She was worried that they was gonna have to send him to meet Sweet Jesus in that long white T-shirt and them seven pants. And Rockaway jeans hanging off his ass <laughs> when the police shot him. <laughs> and they put him in a suit and he looked uncomfortable in the casket he never had on now before. <laughs> she didn't bring them Negroes to church. Pull your pants up for you see Jesus. Can't go in heaven with your pants sagging. <laughs> All them little bastards going to hell. <laughs> Can't go to heaven with no swag. <laughs> Ain't nobody got swag in heaven. Can't have no swag in heaven. Not even no sag. No sag, no swag. They ain't got to sign up. You can't get in God's kingdom with your pants hanging off. <laughs> no wave caps. <laughs> no French rolls. <laughs> What about weave? No weave in heaven. No 27 piece in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Janine. Yes. You know, you know, Mr. Gus, the church custodian, is asking all the overweight choir members to please sit on the back row. To please stop leaving potato chip bags, honey bun wrappers, and empty juice boxes. <laughs> <laughs> On the floor up under the chairs because it done made ants and wretches come back. <laughs> they be sitting up there snacking when they ain't singing. And some of them be singing with with honey bun in their hand. <laughs> That's why some of them don't be clapping. You know when the choir be clapping, it be one or two don't clap? That's because they got a juice box in the honey bun. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.